The Doe 41 is celebrating its 3 month anniversary this week, and that means the Doe 42 is entering the beta testing phase shortly after. This development cycle has been packed with bug fixes and other improvements. In this version there are approximately 150 changes. In this video we are gonna be checking this version out. And now let's start. So first things first, we have here uh, the news post about this new version. Well here we can see some introduction that I've mentioned uh, most parts in the introduction of the video. So let's actually skip this part. And well for example here uh, we can see the most relevant changes, changes that we can see in this version. For example, for example some performance issues rendering and a bunch of other stuff as usual we can also see the complete list of changes down here as you can see we have quite a lot and well there isn't a uh, much other things to be checking out also here we have the um the online version of the editor which is the um, html version that we are also gonna be trying out because if you remember in the last version I couldn't use it well I don't actually remember if it was the last um, but there was a version, a beta, a maintenance release something like that that I couldn't use the web editor so we're gonna be trying out uh, the web editor in this version also but well firstly we're gonna click right here in order to download this version in my case, I'm gonna download it for Windows, but you can scroll down a little bit. And here, well, you can uh, select your platform. Sorry, here you can select your platform, in my case, Windows, as I told you. So I'm just gonna click here. In a couple of seconds, I have my file, so I'm gonna double click it. And here, as usual, we have the executable and the console. That is this one. So I'm gonna open the application we are gonna wait just um, a couple of seconds and everything seems fine the interface doesn't seem to have any change as you can see the buttons are in the exactly the same position and everything seems just the exact same thing so let's create a new game right here create a, a new name for example We can create a new folder, of course. And okay, here I'm gonna click create an edit. We can wait again a couple of seconds and uh, we should be able to actually start programming. Let's see how much time it takes. Okay, as you can see, less than 10 seconds, I believe. Okay, in this version, this bug uh, with this green line here, as you can see, that starts glitching, continues happening. Also, this thing with the Blender file also a uh, continuous happening these bugs have been here for like maybe 12 or 20 versions for like an year ago uh, quite amazing i would say that they haven't fixed it yet but well they are super super minor uh, errors well they aren't even errors they are just bugs that should be fixed of course but well uh, let's just go to a 2 the um environment and here i'm gonna be creating some things very basic firstly i'm gonna create here a, a base node okay <clears throat> and here i'm gonna be creating three icons so this is gonna be my first icon one icon right here my second icon right here and my third icon right here now I'm gonna attach a new script to my root node and now uh, what I'm gonna be writing here is gonna be super super simple I'm just gonna be checking in my process in my process function if um, I'm pressing the key 0 I'm gonna change my first icon color to red for example then if we are pressing the key one i 
I'm gonna change my second icon color to blue. Finally, if I'm pressing the three, sorry, the two, I'm gonna change my third icon color to um, yellow. Okay, as you can see, a pretty easy code to understand. Uh, let's save our progress right here. I'm gonna click play. I have to select a main scene. I don't have one selected yet. So let's just select the current scene as our main one. Well, now here I'm gonna press the zero, then one and two. And okay, everything is working just fine. Also here in the debugger, we can see a warning because we have to prefix the delta argument with an underscore like this and then we shouldn't have any warning, perfect and okay, well this is was just to try out if the general workflow was working fine or not then, well, uh, something that I would also like to, sell, to say is that, as you can see, if we come back to the 3D environment we continue seeing how this green line glitches but as soon as we move a little bit the camera, we can zoom in and everything, and as you can see, it doesn't glitch. Well, I can actually see that here. Uh, it's like glitching little bits, as you can see, it's a little bit moved by, but well, very, very small things. Now let's try out the, go the uh, web editor. So let's click right here, or if not, you can come back to the news post scroll down a little bit and here you can find the same link so here i'm gonna click start without editor remember that the web editor usually takes a little bit more time to open create projects and everything because of course we are using this version in the web but as you can see it was quite fast i believe so let's create a new project a new folder and create an edit uh, I would like to keep recording uh, until it creates the project uh, so that you can actually check how much time it took as you can see super fast again here I believe we also we don't see how the green line glitches now though this is much different from the desktop version I, believe, I mean this glitch doesn't happen in web editor and in the desktop version it does and here we don't have the blender um, bug, but we have here the uh, other bugs related to uh, web sockets or something like that. Okay, let's create the exact same example that we created in the desktop version. So I'm gonna be creating uh, three icons right here. One icon, two icons, and three icons. Then here I will need a script. And I'm, I'm here, I'm just gonna be pasting my code. So let's go right here, copy everything, then here just paste it. And well, I believe this should work just fine, but firstly, let's save our scene, click play, select current. You can see, pretty fast. Zero, one, and two, and everything is working just fine. It was, for me, super surprising how quickly it's loaded, uh, I mean the game, because I believe in the last version of the web editor, it didn't use to load so, so quick. This is what I really like about Joe that they are always uploading, uh, releasing new betas, new maintains releases, new everything, and well, uh, version after version, they improve small things or even big things, if of course it's a big update, but well, uh, let me know what you think about this topic in the description, in the comments down below. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you want to be the first one on knowing the latest news about Goodzilla, I really encourage you to uh, subscribe to the channel right now. See you in the next one and bye bye.